Hello friends and welcome back. Today we are doing something we have never done on my channel before and that is talk about IKEA. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite organization and storage products from IKEA that cost less than $20. I feel like when a lot of people think about IKEA, they think mainly about their furniture. And I have bought some furniture from IKEA, but in general, I tend to like to shop there for their other stuff, their smaller pieces, things for storage, things for organization, home decor pieces. There's lots of little pieces that you can use in Spark in different ways, or some of their pieces you can slightly DIY or sl slightly upcycle to make them even better. So I hope that you're jazzed to see some Ikea content. Let's do this. Let's just go ahead before we like get into the products and clear the air that I am definitely most certainly going to mispronounce every single one of these products. It's just going to add to the fun of this video, okay? And I feel like there's no more perfect example on how much I will mispronounce things than our first product, which is the Kungsforce. 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 I promise that I will be linking all these products down below. There'll be an entire blog post with like all of the proper spellings of where to get these things, exactly what I'm saying. But Ikea in the kitchen section has a couple different lines of essentially these, what I'm gonna call rail organizers. They have wall rails that you can install in different lengths. And then they have all of these really handy attachments that go onto them. So you can get just simple little like S hooks. You can hang so many different things on S hooks, but you can also get um, basket attachments, you can get cup attachments, wire holder attachments. There's so many different options. And I love this option for simple wall storage. Like I said, they sell these ones in the kitchen section. They work really, really great in kitchens. Um, but wall organization like this can work great in so many places. I love using it above office desks. It would work really great actually in a nursery, like even above a, di a diaper changing station. But what I love about these is that they're just so customizable, which is one of the things that Ikea does really great. You can get the exact different links that you want, buy the different hooks separately and the different attachments separately that you want, and you can really create a system that works great for you. All right, next product is the, I'm going to say it's called the dragon. Is it a dragon? Dragon? Dragon. Let's call it the dragon because it's just cuter. Okay, but essentially what this is, is it's a three-piece wooden storage set. They sell it in the bathroom section. They call it like bathroom storage. Um, it costs $9.98 for the, and for like all three pieces. And what I love about it, kind of like a recurring theme with Ikea stuff is kind of the things are really versatile and sort of customizable. Um, so you can use it a couple of different ways. Obviously you can stack one piece on top of the other like this. You can stack three high if you want to. You can do two across like this. So it would work really nice on a bathroom vanity because you can put some toiletries in this top one and then have like some extra makeup underneath. I think it's just a total winner for organizing lots of different small pieces in all sorts of different spots in your home. And on the topic of sort of like storage caddies, there's also the Vissel series, which is all um, home office stuff. And specifically, I like their desk organization tray. It's like a little caddy that looks like this. It only costs $15, and I just think it's a really smart piece. It's got cork on the bottom, and then it's got this piece of elastic that runs all the way through it, so you can slide all sorts of stuff in there. And I specifically think this is really great for those of us working at home right now, maybe if you don't even have a specific work spot, because you can kind of pile all of your tools that you need in here and then I love that it's portable like you can kind of take it with you okay so this is how I use mine and I use it basically as like my workstation because at home I work all over the place sometimes I'm at the dining room table sometimes I'm working on the sofa so I can kind of just carry it around with me and I keep everything in here that I need I have my planner my rocket book uh, headphones for editing I have all of like YouTube stuff I might need extra tripods my phone all of my pens and whatever that I use for all my planning and so it just keeps all of my stuff together and so I can literally just sort of carry it around with me next up is their drawer organizers they have an entire line of drawer organizers and I actually can't even remember what the name of them is I know they begin with a V and I know I wouldn't be able to pronounce them so it doesn't really matter but what they are is basically kitchen drawer organizers slash dividers and in true IKEA fashion what's so great about them is they come in like eight 8 million different options, different sizes, different shapes, different varieties. Um, they have just the basic like little bucket ones that you can get for organizing. They have the ones that they call utensil 
organizers which sort of have rubber grippers on the bottom which is nice because it keeps stuff from flying all around in general these cost anywhere from like two to maybe nine dollars depending if you're getting the really big ones they also have an entire wooden bamboo line and those ones are between 10 and 20 dollars which are really nice if you kind of want like a nicer look you can do all wood inserts as well um, but again what i love about them is they're totally customizable to your different drawers make sure you measure your drawers ahead of time and then you can get the configuration that works really nice for you all right next up is the tiskin hooks it's five dollars for a pack of two and these are basically just suction cup hooks and they will um, suction onto like any smooth surface so like glass or tile and they have a super super nice stronghold they really don't let go like until you want them to um, and so i love this for adding extra storage somewhere where you don't want to have to drill any holes specifically really great in bathrooms that's actually where i picked up this pack for so i love the hooks but the tiskin line also has a few other options like in the suction on variety if you will so you could get like suction on cups suction on soap trays suction on um, towel racks so really great for renter friendly properties or just if you have a place specifically that's like glass or tile where you don't want to drill holes into it but you need some additional storage all right next product is this little guy who's just a little piece of wood he looks like just a little piece of wood he costs you four bucks but what he is is a phone holder i feel like this is one of those products that you don't really think that you need until you need it and then once you have it you find that you're using it all the time but it's just one of those these little tabletop guys and then and you can stick it anywhere on a countertop on a desk and then your phone just slides right into it and it holds it upright and I love this for using in the kitchen it holds a phone or it could hold a tablet I use my phone or our tablet in the kitchen all the time for recipes and I love this because it just keeps it up and you can like easily see it easily reference it I love to watch through like Instagram stories or catch up on a YouTube video or two when I'm like doing my hair putting my makeup on um, and so I sort of just like will prop it here so that I can like watch it hands-free while I'm getting ready plus I feel like it's not like an eyesore it looks nice when it's just like sitting on the counter it doesn't take up a bunch of space super portable so you can like take it with you wherever but I think this is just a great little four dollar product when you're in Ikea see it grab it and you will find yourself using it a lot would work really great on a desk too I'm not a desk worker um, but if you're somebody who sits at a desk for the majority of the day this would be like a great little guy to just have sitting there um, while you're working all right the next two products you actually get in like the plant section at Ikea they always have a section where they sell fake plants real plants live plants like a mixture of all sorts of stuff and I do always like checking out their plant section they have some really great hangers I've gotten some really good planters there um, but I actually like some of their planter containers just to use for storage because they're such good price points so the first one are these I'm not even gonna try to pronounce what they are they come in two different sizes they're either four dollars or six dollars they're basically just like an enameled steel pot they're sold for like herbs and plants. I just think they were for storage of all sorts of things. You could use them for pens, for pencils, for office supplies, for craft supplies. You could use them in the kitchen. I just think they're really versatile little storage pieces and even more affordable. They also just have these little steel bins. These cost 49 cents um, and you can do so much with these. They would work great in kids rooms for storage of arts and crafts or little toys. I've seen so many different DIYs and different like hacks done with these. So these are another one to keep an eye out for again in the plant section, but you can use them for just like regular storage around the house, which I love. Now, Ikea has an endless amount of different storage baskets, storage bins. I find that some of them are more worth it than others. I don't love all of the options. I don't find them all to be like super well worth it. Personally, I find that like a lot of their baskets are not worth it. I can find better quality and better priced baskets if I shop like Michaels or Joann Fabrics when they're having sales. I also just find some of the other baskets just be like a little gimmicky and a little bit cheapy compared to what you could get elsewhere. But there are some that I do find worth it. I'm gonna share two of them with you today that I really like. The first one is, I think they're called the Cuggis. The Cugguses? the Cuggis line. They come with a lid and they have this one, which is like a lower profile one. And then they have the deeper one that looks like this. And they're super stackable. Like the tops actually have a little lip so that you can really stack them up high and they're not gonna like flop around. I think the quality is super nice. I think the size is right. Um, they don't feel cheapy. Um, usually you can find like them in all white. My Ikea currently didn't have any of the white bigger ones. They also have another one that's even bigger than this. It goes even deeper and you literally, again, like I said, you can stack them 
all the way up. You can get the different sizes and shapes that work for you. They also have um, additional inserts that you can buy, like organizational inserts that go inside of them. Not only are they really nice storage bins, but they come with enough variety and different um, options that you can find like the perfect solution for whatever your storage problem that you're trying to solve is. The one other basket that I will call out is what they call the Puda. Puda? I don't know. Uh, but this is a felt bin. Okay, but this is what it looks like when it's all put together. It's basically just like a little felt basket. I don't always love felt baskets exactly for this reason. As you can see, it's sort of like falling in on itself. But I almost like the fact that this is so soft and so pliable is almost what I love about it because I feel like it just makes it a little bit more versatile. If you have a specific spot that's a little bit tricky or a little bit hard to fill and like hard plastic or hard baskets won't fit in, this gives you just like a little bit of wiggle room because it does kind of like you can kind of squeeze it in on the sides a little bit. I just like them because I feel like they look really nice. Like they're not an eyesore. Um, they're super soft. They're super versatile. It's one of those things that, like I said, usually fabric storage kind of bothers me, but it's just done in a really nice way that it's like it's super floppy, but like in a good way. So what I mean when I say these work great in awkward spaces, our house is 100 years old and it has this really cute little cabinet in it, but it's original to the house and it's a very awkward shape and awkward size. As you can see, it's very disorganized because nothing really fits in there properly. And I got these baskets because I knew they'd be perfect, even if they didn't fit in there quite right because they're fabric, I can sort of get them to squeeze in. So now I finally have an organizational structure inside of this little quirky shelf that not only looks really great, but it's super functional and it fits really well. So like I said, these baskets are great for lots of uses, but especially for like unconventional, awkward spaces as well. Oh, I forgot there's one final product that I need to call out, and that is the big, symbolic IKEA storage bags. These cost, I think, $2.99, $1.99 or $2.99. They're huge. These things hold up to 19 gallons and they're just nice when you need like a big, easy, reusable bag. Great for laundry, if you're lugging laundry around. They're really great for when you move. I just love them because they're basically the versatility that you have of regular reusable shopping bags, but sometimes those aren't quite big enough. And it's like the same idea, but just even bigger. I find it good to have at least one or two of these around because you will find tons of uses for them. If you don't have one, definitely grab yourself one next, to, next time you are in Ikea because you will use it. But all right, that does it for some of my top storage organization items from Ikea under $20, definitely not all of them. These are just some of my favorites and some of the ones that were currently available at my Ikea so I could grab them and I could show them off to you guys. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope this video was helpful to you and will give you some like little insider tips next time you were shopping at Ikea or maybe gave you some inspiration for some storage or organization problems you currently have in your house and how to solve them. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.